power is nuts. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a C63, a car which surprisingly I've never experienced before. This car though is a stage three car running TT hybrid turbos and pushing out 780 horsepower. Some serious power for one of these, so it's gonna be a lot of fun indeed. And what we'll do in usual fashion, we'll catch up with Max, the owner of the car, for a walk around it before going out and experience this 780 brake C63. Okay, so we're joined now with Max, the owner. Mate, thank you so much for, for coming out on That's the channel right. with this. Bit of a beast, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Absolute weapon. Um, one thing I love about these, you can just see the turbos right at the top of the engine. And I suppose, seeing as they are staring at us in the face, is it right to, can I give a bit, bit of a run through about what we're looking at? Yeah, sure. Um, the turbo engine is uh, 760 plus hybrid turbos. Yeah. So they use a stock house in, they've just got bigger internals. Okay, yeah. You got. Uh, catalyst downpipes done by Deutsch Tech and Milton Keynes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, hand fabricated uh, nice. titanium downpipes. Oh, nice. But yeah, in terms of the engine, mate, that is really it. Yeah. Still stock spark plugs. That's mad. You literally <laughs> don't need to do anything <laughs> apart nah. from turbos and downpipes. And obviously the the block itself is all completely stock and everything. Yeah. So apparently uh, AMG engines are forged from factory up to a thousand brake. Okay. That's what I've heard. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd, mm. I've never seen the proof. Yeah. I mean, it's, they seem pretty solid. So. Reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're what, pushing 780 brake. I, I reckon about that. Um, it's never been dynoed, so I'm not yeah. going to sit here or stand here and lie and say yeah, it's yeah. this or that. Um, I mean, the turbos they say they're 760 plus. Here, so I'm assuming they are capable of doing that. I mean, yeah. uh, with a stage three map and, and all the bolt-ons, I reckon 780 would probably be a happy number to say. Yeah. Is it a full exhaust or literally just the downpipes? I um, mean, it's literally just the downpipes. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's the rest of the stock exhaust is still on. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did change the back boxes and have the modified ones put on. Yeah. Um, but it sounded, it sounded way too loud. To be honest, I mean, you've been manoeuvring it around. It is really loud. Yeah. Um, really it just loud. was like a really bad droney noise. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I just put the stock back box on and just left it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving around, the wheels, obviously a nice set of, was it 19s on it? 19s, yes. Yeah. Japan Racing Super Light 01s, they're yeah. called. Stock brakes, everything like that? Yeah, still yeah. stock brakes, stock brake discs and pads. Yeah. There's not many companies that make bigger calipers or yeah. discs you can put on. Um, you can obviously get floating brake discs. Um, but these are more than for what it's running. Yeah. The stock doesn't yeah. need anything. I bigger. suppose, I mean, there's quite a few of these cars around, obviously, but I suppose there's not a, a huge amount of parts available, really, compared there to like in, a M4 or something. Handling mods, I wouldn't really say. Yeah, um, yeah. it was not as wide as the uh, BMW range. Obviously, yeah. you, you type in BMW suspension or parts like that, mm. you get website, website, website. You yeah. try and type in C63 suspension mods. There's not really any. You, you can go That's coilovers. True. It sits nicely though. Yeah, really nicely. And of course, the wrap. The wrap. Yeah, this the half wrap. Uh, I like it. I think it looks really cool. Some people don't like it. Some people do. It's like Marmite. Yeah, but, uh, I like it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, yeah, that was done by Boss Dog in Red Hill. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've done a brilliant job at it. Well, yeah, I suppose that's mad. You can get some serious power out of, yes, doing a lot, but not <laughs> a huge amount. No, not really. That's, uh, that's pretty mad. But yeah, I'm really excited to experience this because I've, I've never experienced one. No, um, you know, so... it is, I've put the facelift diffuser on it. Oh yeah, um, this nice. Is, this is a 17 plate, so this is pre-facelift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it had the old original diffuser and smaller exhaust tips. Okay, yeah. And yeah. I thought, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it looks better. Not? Awesome. Well, if that's pretty much everything then, I think we should get it fired up and go for a spin. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> that is fast. <laughs> it sounds so good as well, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, the spool you get is just like... Yeah. You it's can obviously, hear it on idle. Yeah, I mean, with the stage three map, you compromise a bit of the like the the comforts of the driving. Because Pure Tuning have done not only have they done an ECU map, they've done a gearbox map. Yeah. What do you call it? They've upgraded the clamping force on the gears to mm. stop them slipping. Yeah. So now with the gear changes, it's like bangs them in. Yeah, yeah. So if you try and drive it like softly, mm. it's not really that doable. But it can be like you should, I'll leave it in comfort mode and leave it in automatic yeah. and just poodle along. Is this still a daily? Is it? 
No, I don't, I've got a work van, okay, so yeah. I don't really need to daily it. Yeah, yeah. But I work most weekends, so I don't really get the chance to go out on it. <laughs> People are like, how much do you spend a week on, fu- uh, a week on fuel? I'm like, I spend like £150 pound a month, and they're like, nah, <laughs> no way. Yeah. I'm like, I do, I literally don't get a chance to drive a car. But it is a car that you could daily, I suppose, isn't it? You could do, yeah. yeah. It's still, I can, if I do a long run on the motorway, I can still manage 30 miles to gallon. That's all right. Which is mental for, yeah. you think, like, this, this car. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my Golf used to, like, miles per gallon would be, like, 14. Mm. Yeah, because you had a 7R, right? Uh, yeah, I did yeah. have a 7R, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the interior of this thing, actually, by the way. These seats are mega. Now, they yeah. are OEM seats, but was it yeah. not for this car, right? Uh, yeah, so these were for another car, which I bought off eBay. Mm. When I bought this car originally, the owner just spec'd it with the comfort seats. Yeah. Which were nice, but they don't hug you as much. I'll see mm. these a lot more. They're bucket yeah. seats. You've got all the adjustable lumbar support, and uh, you mm. can raise the uh, sides in. Mm. proper straight line animal there yeah. when you when you engage the gear it just goes I see what you mean about the shifts they're probably quick as well yeah <laughs> it's an absolute brute this thing well it grips even in seconds huh it grips well even in seconds yeah do you reckon this is where you're going to leave it, power-wise? I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely enough. <laughs> it is, yeah. I don't think... You, I could go more. I could go down the meth route. I just I just don't want the headaches. I'd, I'd yeah. rather have a bit more of a slower, reliable car mm. than have a, a quicker car than this, but then not knowing when something's going to go wrong. How long? Yeah, exactly. Realistically, where can you do 800-plus brake on a UK road? Exactly, you can't really. yeah. I mean, exactly. where can you do 600 brake on a UK road? Yeah. That's very true. You can do, you just run the risk of getting caught. I mean, I need my driver's license for work, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Own a car like this, it's like, well, you need your driver's license. Yeah. But. <laughs> That's a bit of a overrun that pure tuning put yeah. on the car. The, I mean, these do sound mental. They sound mental from stock. They do, yeah. They can go a bit more with the pops and bangs. I like it. It's like, a lot, but it's like still sat all at the same time. Yeah, because it's almost <laughs> like the factory OEM yeah. setup, isn't it, really? But where it's just louder because yeah. of the downpipes. When you downshift in these cars normally, it, mm. it, that's when it does the pops and bangs. Yeah. But the way this has been tuned, it doesn't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. So if I downshift, it just goes down. Oh, again. I see. Yeah. It doesn't really do the, the uh, big pops and bangs. Yeah. It's only when you force it, basically. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, pure tuning, you've done all the kind of software tuning and everything on it. Yes. I presume they're a go-to AMG? AMG was, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I say I think so, I know so. Mm. Uh, the experience I've had with them mm. compared to other companies that I've spoken to or been to, yeah. pure tuning has seemed the most transparent. They will tell you how it is. Mm. Um, obviously their tuner is Morendi, who that pure tuning is the only company that uses Morendi in the UK. Okay. So if you want that map, you then have to go to pure tuning. To go to them, yeah. um, I know customers that have driven from Liverpool down just to get their maps done, so you can see yeah. how and far people will come. Where are they based? They're Milton Keynes. Oh, so that's a long, yeah, long yeah. track. So they're not far from Deutschtech or Milton Keynes. Yeah. So you could, if you really wanted to come down for a weekend, have that's a down, <laughs> have yeah. a down, down pipe put on on a Saturday, <laughs> get it mapped on a Sunday, <laughs> go home with a stage two, stage three car. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a bad idea actually. It's obvious that there's some huge potential with these. I mean, like you said, depending on the turbos, you could get a thousand horsepower out of these. Yeah, you could do, yeah. Like I said, these engines are forged up to a thousand brake from yeah. factory. Whereas if you was to buy an M car, you'd have to then go and get yeah. that engine forged if you wanted yeah. to probably push that power. Yeah, if you, even if you wanted stage one. <laughs> yeah, it depends how deep your pockets are, I yeah. guess. I don't know if it's like a reputation thing about the, why people would rather have an M car than a, yeah. an, a, an AMG. I've owned both. Yeah. Um, I will still say, hands down, that the M car, handling-wise, mm. is better than this. Yeah. From my own personal experience, I'm not a race car driver, mm. and I have never done a track day in any of my cars. Yeah. I'm all yeah. road driving experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
but I would say that the M car handled a lot better yeah. than this did. Oh. You just feel the car wanting to go all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this on the autobahn would be nuts. <laughs> it would just keep yeah. going. <laughs> and you have someone in a Volvo pull out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always that big debate, I suppose, comparing this to the NA V8 C63. Mm. They're both brilliant cars in their own right. I think this is the better car as a package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Uh, the other, you can't beat that 6.2. Yeah, and sound. Yeah, like, yeah, that will better just win hands down. Yeah, <laughs> but this still sounds really good. It does. I'm a turbo kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, that's like... the same as me. I, that, I weighed up the options when I was when I sold my M4, mm. and I was deciding whether to go for this or the older one. Yeah. The older one. I mean, I don't really know much about tun it tuning wise, but I think all you can pretty much do to that is strap a supercharger on it. Yeah. Obviously, it's not turbo; it's naturally aspirated. Mm. I think if you was to map the car, you would get like 20 brake. Yeah, it's a bit like my M3. Yeah. My E92. Like you can get 450 brake NA. Whereas yeah. obviously this, this is you can just stage one it and it's like almost 100 brake straight yeah. away. You don't even need to just probably do panel filters. Yeah, yeah. That's probably about it. Yeah, exactly. I'm surprised it's taken me so long to experience with these things. But mate, no, thank you so much for, for taking me out of it. That's right. No what worries. a thing. Absolutely epic. Um, yeah, really, really liked it. Maybe I could swap my E92 for one of these. That, yeah, that, maybe. That'll, that'll yeah. cause some rustling in yeah. the comments. But, but anyway, mate, thank you so much no for, for taking thank me out, like you. I said. And of course, you can find Max's Instagram. Link down in the description if you guys want to learn more about the car. Um, but yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.